Lisp comprehension is one of the advanced feature on the Python, which basically gives you the output as a list. Means I have a list of hundred values. I want to perf get the list of even numbers only. I have a list of hundred values. I want to get a list of hundred the even numbers only from that list. If I use for loop, if I use like there is a for x and for c in my list, I just do that if c mod two equals zero, print c. Okay, I do like this. What it will do? It will print one by one numbers. It will not print me list. But list comprehension. When you use list comprehension, it will print list only. Let's see from a small example first, and then we'll go to the if condition and all. I have a list of hundred numbers, and I want to print some list only for from that. Okay. Now, if I do this way, it will print me one by one. But if I have to use list comprehension, what I do first of all. I want the numbers in list only, and list comprehension gives the output in list only. So I'll assign a list. I'll assign a square bracket. I want to perform my task, so I'll use for x in list. And now instead of printing, using print or something, I'll just write x. This will print me the list of the values. You see here, for x in word, x means x is my iterator. This and this will print me this. List comprehension is very very efficient and very very good in terms of performance. It gives you the output very very fast. So always try to use list comprehension for your uh, like whatever kind of requirement and these things you have. And if you can fit list comprehension in that, so try to use list comprehension. Let's see a few other examples. If I want to uh, get from a list of a numbers, I want to get a square root of those numbers. Now, in Python, there is one more function named as range, which will basically give you the start, stop, and again start, stop, and that limit on the stop minus one basically, or end minus one. So, range is a function which will automatically print the values from zero to till eleven uh, minus one, that is till ten. So, I am using for x in range this and x into into two. This will give me the square root this one. Ka square one, two ka square four, three ka nine, four ka sixteen, and so on. If I have to use if condition, so you can use if conditions like this and this. This all will give you the output as a list. You can perform converting. You have a list of these values, and you want to calculate convert the Celsius temperature to Fahrenheit. You can use this. You can have a nested list of list comprehension. Nested list of list comprehension is nothing. Let's say that for i in j, for j in i now. What I'll do, I'll print J first, then I'll print I first. If I, this is what, this is my nested loop. If, so, this is a very good thing to understand at how you can convert anything. Okay. Because initially at first time, you might not understand at how. So, first write a for loop and then try to convert that. Now, first I'll write my inner loop. What I want to print from that? My J. Now, what was my outer loop? For i in j, and what I want to print from this final output is i. So this is how you can write your uh, nested list comprehension. <laughs>